Hey guys, this is Curtis Alexander. I'm a pharmacist and in today's video I want to touch on a topic that is discussed a lot which is how do I stop a certain medication and there's a lot of them that you can stop without too much fanfare but there's some medications that you really have to be careful a with how you start them meaning you have to start them very slowly increase the dose slowly over time and also if you or your doctor decide that you want to stop that it needs to be slowly decreased over time to minimize really some of the withdrawal side effects that you can see from certain medications. So if your doctor and, and you together decide that, hey, I want to get off a of medication, there's certain steps that you have to follow with certain drugs. One of those being Topamax. Now Topamax is primarily used, it can be used for different things, but primarily we see it uh, you can use it for migraine prevention. You can also use it to control seizures. The dosing ranges for both of those things are different, and that is going to affect how you lower and stop the medication. So obviously, um, this is something you always discuss with your doctor, but I've had a number of doctors ask me the best way to stop Topamax, and, and this will kind of serve as a resource in that way as well. Um, so I just want to hop right into it, okay? So we already talked about using it for migraine prevention and seizure control. The general rule of thumb when we're going to stop Topamax is it can be as quick as a couple weeks, it may take months. Again, it's depending on what we're treating, what the dose is, how long patient, how long you've been on it. Okay, so general rule of thumb. If we're using it for migraines, we can decrease it by 25 to 50 milligrams um, per week. If it's seizure control, we can lower it at a higher milligram 50 to 100 milligrams per week decrease, but we also tend to see higher doses in seizure control. So it's kind of one of those things that sounds like that'll, you'll be able to stop it faster. It's usually not the case because the doses are higher. Um, the biggest thing I can stress is if you or your doctor are unsure, it's always best to side with you're going to taper it more slowly rather than faster. Which brings up a couple of good questions. What will happen if you go too fast? Well, we're going to see some withdrawal symptoms. Some of those can be an increase in headaches, increase in seizures, anxiety, um, insomnia, sweatiness. Some of these withdrawal symptoms you can see if you go too fast. What I want to do is walk through a couple of examples just to give you an idea of what we're talking about. So let's say, and this is actually an example that came up at our clinic not too long ago. Uh, we had a patient that was taking Topamax for seizures at 150 milligrams. The BID means twice a day. So 150 milligrams twice a day, that gives us 300 milligrams total per day. So in this particular patient's case, week one, we had them do 100 milligrams in the morning and then 150 milligrams in the evening. So that gave us 250 the first week. So we're, I'm leaning towards the lower end of that range. We're gonna decrease it by 50 milligrams a week. So we had them do that dose for a week. Then we dropped it down to 100 milligrams twice a day. So now we're down to 200. And we kept dropping at 50 milligrams each week. So now we're down to 50 in the morning, 100 in the evening, then 50 twice a day. Then finally in the fifth week, we're at 50 once a day. We do that for seven days, then we stop, okay? Fairly simple, but we just have to be patient. If anywhere along this line, if like if in the first week I noticed that uh, we're seeing, you know, that we saw a seizure or we're getting some withdrawal symptoms, we'll slow it down. Okay, now let's look at migraine prevention. Again, the migraine doses are generally lower. So in this particular case, we've got a patient taking 100 milligrams. Uh, QD means daily, just once a day. 
So in the first week, what we can do is again, I'm going to stay on the low end of the range drop at 25 milligrams. So instead of 100 milligrams, we're going to go 75 per day. First week. Second week, 50 a day. Then of course, third week, 25 a day. We do that for a week, then we should be able to stop without any issues. Okay. So again, Topamax is a drug you have to be very careful with when you start it and when you stop it. Rule of thumb, always go on the slower side. Uh, don't do it any faster than two weeks, um, even if it's a low dose. Even if I had a patient come to me 50 milligrams a day for migraine prevention, I'm still going to go 25, maybe even for a full two weeks, or maybe 25 for a week, then 25 every other day. Um, for at least two weeks. Sometimes it'll take longer. Sometimes got to go up to three months depending on the dose and uh, just be patient. So this is a couple examples uh, for any providers out there who need a little guidance, um, any patients who want to talk to their doctor, come up with a game plan. Um, hopefully this provides you with a good example. So in the comments, be sure to subscribe, be sure to like. In the comments, if you want other video topics covered, please mention them. I can't promise that I'll respond to every comment. As I do more videos, I'm getting a lot, a lot of comments. I can't keep up with them. I promise that I read them. So please, if there's something you want me to cover, let me know. Also go to curtis-alexander.com. I have a free 30 days to health report. It covers some of the things for people who maybe you're on Topamax and you want to look at other options that are more natural. I talk about medications, but I also talk about options that are outside the drugs and surgery realms that I use myself, that I've seen other patients use. So be sure to check that out. It's free. Love you to have it. So again, hope this video was helpful. And until the next one, uh, have a good one.